I am meeting award-winning amateur photographer Damien Peach, who's captured some striking images of these exotic worlds. So Damien, you're well known for taking some amazing pictures of the planets, including Uranus and Neptune. Have you got any top tips for getting the best pictures? Firstly, you need a large aperture telescope, at least 10 inches a aperture, to stand the chance of getting some detail okay. on these planets. Um, secondly, I would say uh, another important factor is that the use of filters, particularly uh, near-infrared and red light filters. OK, so what's the purpose of the filters? Now, what they do is to help contrast those brighter zones and, and darker bands much okay. more clearly than, than you would otherwise see in visible light. I've seen you've got some fantastic pictures on your laptop. Can we have a look at them? Yeah, certainly. Oh, wow, that's incredible. So that's Uranus. And the first thing that strikes me there is you've got colour in that shot. Is that colour that's been captured through the telescope or is that added on afterwards? The image you have here is actually the real image taken through a near-infrared filter and it's been colourised okay. later to give a, a more aesthetically pleasing appearance. And that's because it's quite tricky to get the different colour components with it? it exactly, that's right. It, it, because these planets are so dim, it's very difficult to obtain uh, good colour data to actually make a true colour image. But it's worked really well. I mean, the detail there is, is amazing because you've got these shaded bands running around the planet. That's right. And one of the great things is it's only in recent times that it's become possible to start recording detail on planets such as Uranus and Neptune with amateur telescopes. OK. Why, why is that, do you think? I, th I think it's a combination of the development of very powerful software for processing the data right. that, that we're able to capture. And the, and the cameras we have now are so much better yeah. than they were um, even five or six years ago. Because these are pretty tiny. I mean, in terms of how they appear in the sky, they're, they're, they're not dissimilar to the moons of Jupiter. The moons of Jupiter are slightly right. smaller. I mean, when you're looking at something like Neptune, you're, it's only very slightly larger than Jupiter's moon Ganymede in apparent size. <laughs> That's so, incredible, isn't it? So it's a very small object. Have you got any shots of um, Neptune on there? We have indeed, yeah. Ah, there's Neptune and its moon. Triton. That's pretty amazing because there is detail on that planet's disk, isn't there? There is some vague markings visible and again this was taken through a, a near-infrared filter. Absolutely incredible image. It really is uh, something else. Thank you very much. Thank you. So no matter what your level of expertise, Uranus and Neptune are definitely well worth a look.